So zooming in a bit, you can see the dimensions and the tags throughout the plot and the table, which is contextual to what is shown on our plot. Everything that is included on here is based on the selections that we made in this example. Next, we'll go through a few helpful tips for working with your isometric and microstation or open plant isometrics manager. This is outside of Autopipe but generally useful for anyone who's working with the stress isometric. We already have our isometric open. So one thing that we can do is we can move our dimension elements around within our plot. So if I zoom in a bit to a section of the plot here, In Open Plan Isometrics Manager, I want to select the drawing workflow. And in the modify grouping of the home ribbon tab, I see an option to modify the element. So I can select modify element, and then I can select my dimension, and I can move it to wherever I would like to move it, either the actual number dimension or you can move the entire line of the dimension as well. For example, down. Another helpful tool in here is called Move Label, which allows us to move labels for supports and components. So as an example for this support at A10, in this case, I wanna to switch to the isometric workflow and again, on the Home Ribbon tab, under Tools, we want to select Move Label. And then I can select my label and move it to wherever I would like to move it to. Also can be done with uh, your elevation labels, any type of label within your isometric. So it, it is our goal to have these stress isometrics be automatically produced in a very neat and organized format but sometimes these tools can be helpful to organize the plot even more. This concludes the Autopipe Practice Workbook Example Training Class for Stress Isometric Creation. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.